Welcome to the After Show Show for episode 79. If this is your first time tuning in, this is not the main episode. This is the dirty leftovers of the main episode Ew. where we talk about leftover songs or things that we didn't have time to talk about or just random ass shit. Usually um, random ass shit. Yeah, and this episode is definitely going to be some random ass shit because yeah. we really didn't have that much to talk about. Yeah. Um, we actually are recording this like four hours after recording the main episode, which yeah. is normally not the case. Yeah, you, um, we usually do it like right after our podcast, but this week's a special week. Yeah, we had to watch the, <laughs> the League of Legends World Finals, the yeah. least hype world finals in the yeah. world. But uh, it was Korea good games. versus good games. Korea. Um, and, uh, you know, they, they made it interesting at the end, but yeah. you probably don't care about that. Yeah. Um, but I think we're going to start with our uh, good old main uh, uh, staple of After Show Show, which is flashback. Flashbacks. Get that out yeah. of the way. Six months ago, uh, pretty much about ten episodes mm -hmm. ago, which is give or take six months because sometimes we do we you know, three weeks. and Man. So it's usually six months or a little bit more, six or seven months ago. Yeah, we just kind of talk about how those songs are kind of... You know, Sit still doing now. it. How they doing with us? Yeah. You know, like we flashbacking. You know, yeah, we whether, got... whether or not we still like them or not, or yeah, whether they grew on us or fungus songs. And, and every time that. we do this, it's like holy shit, that was six months ago. <laughs> like yeah, that felt, just like that, that felt, felt like, like just a, while a month ago. ago. Yeah, yeah. But can you guys believe it or not? Six months ago was the official release of the Made series by Big Bang. So the first song obviously was Loser by Big Bang. Yeah. yeah, how do you feel about that song now, Steven? I mean, it's crazy to me. It's like, I remember when, the I mean, we went to the Big Bang concert, right? Like, we were there for, like, the first debut of Loser yeah. and Baby, and we were like, oh, my God. God I can't like, believe yeah. there's going to be four more months of these Big Bang releases. Uh -huh. And to be honest, like, other than Bang, 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 like, like after Loser and Baby, like, the other songs are kind of just, 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 like, like, just, they've just middle of the pack. Completely just gone like plateau from my, from my mind like they'll still yeah. come up on my playlist and i'm like oh yeah we like to party or like oh yeah like uh let's not fall in love or whatever but it's like most of them like even baby i don't listen to much anymore um but loser is still one of the only songs where i'm like oh yeah loser yeah I, oh yeah to this point i still think loser is my favorite song of the maid series you know i i didn't like bang 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 that much but like i think i've heard that fucking song so many times that like just the funness of doing the bang 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 like at random times like in a bang restaurant bang 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 yeah <clears throat> like the fact I, that people say bang up bang up bang up all the time yeah like my kids will say it yeah. you know at school it's like i do it sometimes i just be like bang yeah yeah like i think the the whole thing surrounding bang 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 is my favorite my yeah. favorite thing but like as a song like Loser is still it's definitely the like best. the best one, yeah. and it's one of the only songs that I like probably will even matter in my top 10. Yeah, like I, I really can't think of an, any other one. Yeah, I, I mean, it, so I mean, much? it also came with Bebe, it did so, and like Bebe, like at Bebe, first, Bebe. I really kind of enjoyed it, I really Bebe, did. Bebe, Bebe, Bebe. But but I think Bang 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 really replaced that the kind of that that style of uh, that hype, spot, that hype yeah thing. hype yeah so like baby I <laughs> honest, I I don't think I've heard baby in in months in months like I really don't hmm. I mean it doesn't it's on my playlist somewhere but it doesn't show up very often because you know my playlists are segmented by month huh That's um, interesting. And it's actually kind of weird because like it's preferential. So like for it's separated in like usually two two or three months depends on how slow the months are. So like the current one is October, November, December, mm -hmm. um, which means that last episode was the first one to put in the October playlist, which meant oh. that I listened to those songs a lot because it's just those just those songs, eight songs the, repeated for the three month. Yeah, for the yeah. three month thing. And so like. <clears throat> Uh, I hear I've heard the songs from episode seventy eight like a lot, and then but when the seventy nine stuff goes in, like it gets filtered where I, mm. you know, it's random. So I hear I don't hear the seventy nine ones as much, and I probably will will hear the eighties ones even less. So like it's this mm. weird like I realize this weird preferential like uh, treatment that I have been giving my songs that I'm like oh, like maybe I shouldn't do it this way, <laughs> but. Huh. Uh, 
Uh, I get kind of, because of the way I listen mm. to music is I like playlists and I like to listen to the same 10 songs or the same 20 songs over and over and over and over, and over again. Yeah. Um, and every once in a while, I'll, I'll switch to my big playlist because I do have a big playlist of all the songs the whole year. Yeah, we've talked about. Um, but I don't. I only listen to that like when I was traveling. Like sometime when I'm going to listen to music. We have like a certain two time hours. where you're just sitting down for a really long time. Yeah. But Makes usually sense. I'm walking to school, I'm walking back. Like I only have time for like four four songs. So yeah. if I'm not listening to a podcast, I, I just want to hear, you know, the hits. You know? Yeah. I, I mean, I used to have like playlists. But like my iPod's been broken for a while mm. and like I haven't really been using my phone for playlists. So like I pretty much only stream my music. And recently I've been streaming my music on Melon, which is like the Korean Spotify or Korean uh, Groove Shark or Korean whatever those streaming music kind of programs. Um, and it's I, I still haven't figured out how to make playlists on that. So <laughs> I mean, I've only been using it for like a few days, but I'm going to start like making playlists again. And the way I think I'm going to do it is that I am going to just make a playlist of like four months, mm. kind of like three playlists of four, four months when mm. it comes to a year. And um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But. Usually I, I like to listen to albums, so if like a new album comes out, I'll just listen to the album completely. And th that's usually the case for like American music. Like hmm. a, a week or so ago, I was really, really into like the Weekends album. Hmm. Um, I was just listening to that like nonstop. I don't listen to American music. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I I really don't listen to music that much actually, to be honest. Like. If I'm ever listening to something like when I'm cooking, when I'm uh, in the bathroom, like when I'm before I go to sleep, I always uh, listen to something and, uh, and kind of like wind down. It's always podcasts. Mm -hmm. um, I listen to a lot of podcasts, but uh, yeah, music, even walking to school, you know, music is, is just one of those things where it's like some weeks I probably don't even listen to much um, mm. because I just don't. Maybe if I start working out again. But even if I work out, like, I'll probably listen to podcasts. Because <laughs> uh, I got a lot of them. And I yeah. want to keep up with them. Yeah. But uh, anyways, uh, after B Big Bang, of course, there was the completely forgettable song of oh, Boa. Boa. Who are you? Who are Kitchen you? Gecko. But I still remember I that decently enjoyed Boa. it. Yeah, yeah, I decently enjoyed it at the time. But I just, I don't even know. If, I don't even think that made my playlist. Because cause I... It didn't make Can't mine, recall to be it ever coming up ever. Yeah. Um, which is sad. I mean, Boa, I mean, she doesn't have to do much anymore, you know? Like, she puts out a song, everyone's like, ah, nostalgia. And then she kind of goes away. away. Yeah, yeah. kind of fades away. I don't know too many people that are like still rocking that Boa, Boa. shit. They're like, oh my God, Boa! Yeah. But, yeah. At, you know, seven years ago, whatever it was, I was like, oh my God, Boa is here, the fucking best. You oh know? my God, you speak Korean and Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. Like my, one of my favorite songs of all time is still I still listen to this song cuz I bought it on iTunes so it's stuck in my iTunes playlist no matter what and it's uh number 1. No, it's uh a song with M Flow. It's called Love Love Song. No, Love Bug. It's called Love Bug. I don't know. You know M Flow. Do you know? Yeah. yeah. Uh, M Flow actually in college was what my fa I used to like th th again there there're not many Albums that I would download in my life, yeah. but like M Flows was one of those albums where like I would repeat the entire album because he has like an album just full of like he called it like the love series, but like it's just featuring him. So he's featuring yeah. all these Japanese artists and um, th it's Japanese music, but still I'll go, I'll listen to my some of my favorite M Flow songs, and one of them is the Boa song. Uh -huh. um, it's one of the only songs where I can like it's very much like uh, um, Hotmail. But, like, I can... Because my memory is so bad. Yeah. Like, I, I can't remember shit. Like, you're one of those guys, which a lot of people are, that remembers things. Like, remembers quotes from movies, remembers songs. And, like, my memory's off. I can't remember things. But mm. I can remember, like, the hurtful first verse of Hotmail. Or not even verse, uh, the English rapping part. And it's the same thing with Love Bug. Like, I can... Miscellaneous Kind stuff. of like, yeah. you know, kind of sing that. Like, no matter where I am, any time in my life, I can be like, you know, that's the way it's gonna be. Japanese, Japanese. You know, like, I, I don't really know the <laughs> Japanese part, but I can kind of guess I mean, it. I feel like most people have, like, kind of selective memory. 
Like yeah. certain things kind of stick and certain things don't. Because I, I think I have pretty shitty memory when it comes to certain things. Like uh, this past week, like I forgot to take my wallet to work like two times. But that's Once... not remembering. That's just like, that's like habit and... Like, I, like, there are certain people I don't hang out with. Like, I don't hang out with people that, like, all they do is when they when they joke around is, like, they they say quotes from other things. Like, sometimes you do it, and, and I'm just like, mm. like I, I, don't, I don't remember what you're talking about. I don't, yeah. Or, like, you know, they'll just, uh, it was like, I don't know if you, 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 th there's a differentiator to you, maybe, like. But I definitely know there are people that they're like, oh, I'm going to repeat a line from South Park. Or, oh, I'm going to repeat a yeah, line from this. I, or, oh, I'm going to repeat a line from this. A I'm lot of like, friends I have and a lot of friends I've had or pretty much those people. Yeah, I don't know anyone yeah. who does that. None of my friends do that. Mm -hmm. None of my friends. I feel like... Just pop culture can do that either. Yeah, yeah we're, we're not big pop culture things. Like I, I personally just... I don't really... Sometimes I feel like you... Those people just don't have anything other, anything else to say, so they just kind of yeah. repeat what's funny, and they're yeah. like, "Oh yeah, that was funny," and it's like yeah. kind of a time waster. But um, yeah, I funny. feel like at least for me, like I used to do that a lot more in high school because, and sometimes in college, mostly in college also, just because it's like you want to sound witty or you want to sound funny, mm -hmm. and. Like, it took me a while to realize this, like, after the fact. You want to sound witty or you want to sound funny. And if you don't really have anything to say and you want to break the silence, it, like, it, it's kind of like a comedic kind of tool where you bring back something uh, something that was funny. Like, you'll you'll see a lot of stand-up comics do it. Like, they'll mm -hmm. make a joke. And then later on, when they wrap up their whole set, mm -hmm. they, like, make a joke tie it in. and tie that joke into that joke. Uh, but like that makes sense to me because it's like that's your joke, right? Yeah. Like, like for example, like, like I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but like in high school, yeah. me and my friends in band because we were band ass fucking nerds, like we made up a word. Okay. We we would call it jats. Yeah. Have I ever told you about this? I think you. I have. feel like I have. Yeah. But it stood for I don't know how it came up. I don't know who invented it. I don't know why, but it stands for Jew, like J O O, not. J E W, yeah. but like instead of you, it's Jew, Jew. and Jew ain't the shit. So yeah. it was J A T S, and so like we would just repeat that ad nauseum. But like for me, that's like like anytime anyone did something dumb, anyone did anything awesome, we'd just be like, "Do jats, you fucking asshole!" You know, like whatever. It's just like yeah. a stupid word. But we made that up. It, I, I wasn't like it's dumb, but like I'm, we're not like like I understand repetition. I, yeah. I just was never one of those dudes who was like would repeat a one-liner from yeah. another show or whatever. Yeah. Um, partially because I can't remember them because yeah. I'm fucking stupid. Yeah. Um, and partially just... I, I think that's why I don't like it. It's because yeah. I can't do it. I, I think I... It's not like... It's kind of like a, a stupid kind of jealousy thing where it's just like, since I can't do it, I'm not going to like it and I don't want to hang out with people that can do that. Well, I mean, there are times where it is funny and there are times where it's just really annoying because at times, like... It's really the timing. Like I would reference a joke or something, mm -hmm. or reference like a a pop culture, like ref, you know, some one liner or whatever, and then it would be really funny, mm -hmm. and I would think it's really funny. And then uh, at another time, though, I would say a, a different one, mm -hmm. and people will laugh. I'll laugh. But then when I think about it, I'm like, God damn, that was so <laughs> fucking obnoxious. Like, did I really say that? Like. Mm -hmm. Not not necessarily regret, but it's just like God damn, like I'm an obnoxious sometimes, mm. and like just the understanding of that kind of gets you more attuned to like when you should say certain things, right? Right, but I mean, it might be part jealousy, it might be part just it's kind of like just you you've must have experienced someone being super obnoxious or something. Maybe maybe, I mean I. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, let's move on. People don't want to hang out with me, so you know what it is. <laughs> let's uh, move on. Let's move on. Um, the next song is by what used to be the punching bag of this podcast, but no longer. Yeah. That's BTS yeah. with I Need You Girl. girl. Way. Bam, 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 bam,
And um, I mean, Stephen and I still remember the chorus, so it's. I still listen to catchy. it sometimes. Like, yeah. surprisingly, like six months ago, I still listen to that. Like, yeah, BTS yeah, doing yeah, it. Yeah, like this and Jodo, like, I still listen to both those songs. Like, I, I definitely like Jodo better than this song, though. Uh, hmm. uh, uh, I kind of go, uh, uh, I kind of go back and forth. Because I really actually think Jodo is very one note. Mm. Like, like I can't listen to that song like mm -hmm. like I listen mm -hmm. like I can listen to it every once in a while but like once that song repeats in my like twenty or my oh. fifteen like I skip it because I'm like it's just the it's same. Kinda, it's kind of like a a knockout punch like you just can't pull that. Yeah, shit. the first time it's always like yeah, yeah. we're going in it and, and it's like you said like, oh, like what else oh, do I got? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Um, and I I think I need you is. It's not that type of song, you know? It's yeah. a lot more calmer. It, it's like got that. more, I guess, staying power, but Jodo's definitely got more impact. But goddamn, do I still think of that music video when I think of some of the best fucking music videos. And I'm like, Jodo, what, Jodo? Man, Yeah, that was, was pretty good. Good goddamn music, music video. video. Yeah. Um, and they showed it. That, like, I, I watched like, the Fine Brothers and stuff, and you know how they do like yeah. celebrities react to K-pop, whatever. And sometimes they choose weird-ass... Like, it's just like one of those problems where like, Whenever it's like Americans watch K-pop videos, or like they always choose like the weirdest ones, right? And it, you, you kind of get this weird like, or if it's like oh, like Americans watch anime for the first time and they choose like really yeah, weird, weird ones. Yeah. So it gets yeah. this like weird con a consensus of like yeah. like K-pop's fucking weird, right? Yeah. So like in their one of their latest ones, they showed like I Need You, and I was like, that's a pretty damn good choice. Yeah. Um, and then after that, they showed fucking for no goddamn reason. They showed EXID, right? And you're like, oh, they're gonna show We Are It, or they're, they're gonna show, show Oh yeah. yeah, no, they show uh, they showed uh, every night, every night, That's and so like fucking old. It was so it's so old, and like they only showed it because of the very end of the music video, like all the girls like spit on a guy or something, they like spew water out. But I was like, of all the songs, why are they fuck like I that's a great song though. I it's really like that song. song. Yeah. But like, why are they showing that music video? And then they showed another one. I forgot what the third one is, but I was like, there are so many better music videos to show, but but I do know those those Fine Brothers guys are big fans of K-pop. Because they, they yeah. talk about it. They a lot. do it they do those kind of like YouTubers react to K pop or whatever. Yeah. Was and they do like some vlogs and they talk about K -pop. the K pop songs that they like. Oh. Like they actually are kind of into it. So yeah. um, but shout out to the Fine Brothers. Which will never watch this, and no. why would they? They have a billion fucking views. All right, calm down. No, I mean I like them. Like of all the like so and so reacts to so and so, like they have the best ones by far. Like I, I think they do a really good job of. Um, I mean, Being they're the pioneers. They're, they're, they that. may not be the first ones, but they're definitely like the pioneers of mm. of, of 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 doing it. But yeah. uh, anyways, the next song though is by like a whole plethora of people. Uh, Bora, Kisum, Lil Cham, and Jace, uh, with Adunga as the producer, uh, Feedback. I I mean, I still love this song, I, mainly because of the beat. I um, have not heard of this song once since probably six months ago. Yeah, the the beat was really good, and um, that kind of has a staying power for me. And plus, I remember Bora being pretty cute in the music video. Uh, it's kind of cute. But I remember, like... The rap was like not great. The rap was not them. great. Uh, like I think the Bora one was like, oh yeah, but I, I mean I remember hearing Bora rap and I was like, better than usual. Yeah, be yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then now for some reason, like you're like, well, how can Hyorin rap better than Bora? Uh, like what the yeah, fuck? It's true. Like, Hyorin does rap better than Bora. Yeah, it's kind of sad. But I mean, when you can go between her skill sets, like you're gonna pick the singing skill set, right? Yeah. Like you're gonna pick. Yeah. You're gonna pick her beastly singing, so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I have not listened to that song ever again, and I don't plan to. Hmm. Um, and the last song we talked about. Last song, also, I have not heard Surprise. since six months ago. I've not heard once, but. <laughs> See, you say that, I have no idea. I know all I know about this <laughs> song is. <laughs> sex. <laughs> That's all I remember. J Park Sex Trip. Not once. Sex Trip. Have you listened to it before? Uh -huh. I mean, after. Uh, have sense? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Like, why would I? I'm like, if I can listen to fucking Mome or My Last, why or uh, Solo uh, even, uh, why uh, would I uh, ever uh, listen? To essentially, sex trip? that's the reason why I was in Sex Trip. I kind of made it like a because one day uh, I was Jay just Park. like, man, Jay Parks has list has like come out with like a bunch of hits recently, yeah. and I kind of like just put them all in like a playlist and just kind of listened to it. And I was just like, 
Mo, 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 like I was mo. thinking, there's a distinct chance like Mome and My Last might be in my, my top, top ten. 10 like, right? I really like My Last songs. definitely will be in my top ten. I think, but Mome, maybe actually. Like I still like put on some headphones, right, with some bass, and like I'm just like, boom, 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 man. <laughs> like I'm like, this is it. good times, man. It's good times. Mm. Um, but uh, anyways, I think the rest we talked about during lightning round. Remember yeah. when we had lightning round before that? Oh, um, man. But the only thing I think that was um, of mention is Besties. Excuse me. I love Besties. Excuse me, man. <laughs> Josh didn't never liked it. He still is like meh on it. I, but I said it's I not love bad. It. I said it's not bad. It's pretty good, but it's no uh, thank you very much. I think I like it more than thank you very much. Wow. I like the video more than thank you very much. I like the, the video music more video. Too. Oh my god. So, Oh, good looking, my good God. looking girls. Oh, I I will go out and on a limb and say this. I think Bestie, they have the sexiest bodies in K-pop. For group. Uh, I think they have the best legs. Um, I don't know about bodies though. I mean, who, who who's that girl with the black hair? Dahe? Is that? I don't know any of the people's names. Anyways, the the girl who has black hair in Bestie, her. Hourglass figure is oh my god. I mean they, they have nice figures. But but I feel oh like god. there are a lot of K pop girls that have. I think I think Girls Day has got some nice figures. Uh I think Bestie But not best are, legs, are the are are the most curvaceous. That's what I'll I'll throw out in there. No. Who do you I think, think who do you think is curvaceous? I would say Mina and Yura are definitely way more curvaceous than than anyone in Best. Like I think the the four girls in Bestie are all the same types of body. They're all very yeah. tall. They're all very long legs. They but they don't have like a butt or breasts. Like I don't know. Oh, I meant curvaceous as in like a. Like but a hips part of the stomach. curves, part of the curves is butt and breasts. That's where the, mean, the curve comes from. I mean, they have decent breasts, but yeah. see, group, but the thing about girls is like they're half and half. They are half and half. Yeah. Like, like the yeah, other Yura, two, Mina, and then... but like I, I think uh, I'll agree wholeheartedly for legs though. Like I think they oh, have yeah. the best, best legs, best and, legs. and like if if that's a big factor in your curvaceous, like maybe I'll you know maybe I have know, different I, definitions I think, of curvaceous. I think they have a, the best body proportions is what I want to say. Oh, okay. I mean, they got a nice, but I'm not gonna. Yeah, I mean they have nice bodies. I think. Kinda... I mean, the, I guess the other like it's easier since they only got four and they all have the similar body so I'm trying to think of any other. Some any people, other some group, people but... will say Nine Muses. Some people will say Sistar. You know, you got mm. Sistar is just so random. It's like you got Giraffe Neck, right? <laughs> Which she has, she has a very bestie type body, I think. Yeah. It was very long and very very long legs, but then like Soyu doesn't really Bora doesn't really have like Soyu's body is like slowly became like bodacious. Like I don't know, yeah, I don't know if it's breast technology or, or padding technology, <laughs> but like like really I like in the past, like like when they did my boy 19, right? You're like, sure. damn the Hyoren, damn, damn Bora, uh, like holy motherfucker, right? Like, okay, Sister 19 has the best part. <laughs> um, <laughs> there we go, figure okay, it out. Okay, all right. Go. Uh, but like Soyu was kind of like in the back, and then all of a sudden, like, oh, she's working out, like something she happened got here. Fit. But she got like fit. now these are like big. You know, okay, uh, this is slightly, I don't know what this is. A tangent, I guess. It's not a tangent, but like I really, really like, like we live in Korea, yeah. right? Okay, like in general, I, I feel like for some reason, if it, I, I'm trying to say it's padding technology, but like the breasts in Korea, like the average breast size in Korean girl groups uh -huh. have gone up a shit ton. I agree. Like every new girl group, I'm like, damn, like what the fuck is this? And like, I'm 99% sure that's just padding, padding technology. Yeah. But like. Korea's really big on the padding for breasts, butt, everything. Yeah. Yeah. Sensory. Yeah. But like, I don't know what it is. Like, all these new girls, I'm like, dang, like, where are these bodies coming from? Like, like, you know, like when even Queen Girl Gener Generation came out, it was like they didn't really have any breasts, really. I mean, other than Sunny. But even Sunny, like, they didn't unleash those until like years later, I feel. And arguably Yuri. Okay, yeah, maybe. But, like, in general, you know, uh, granted, they weren't, back in the day, they weren't 
accentuating that, right? They mm. weren't wearing skin tight. You and know, especially outfits. for SNSD, that wasn't their. Yeah, but even like Wonder Girls, like they didn't have anything. They still don't. But like nowadays, you see like Wonder Girls, and I'm like, damn, like where, where did this shit come from? So maybe they're just getting older. I mean, I mean, one maybe maybe, maybe padding. The Two technology. maybe breast implants are becoming a thing in Korea. I, doubt I don't it, think though. they're getting implants. I doubt though. it though. Yeah. Like why would you when when you can just use the tech padding? Yeah. yeah use the tech, and and. Padding in Korea is is so advanced. Yeah, like, it's really technology. It's really technology. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, and like I know everyone is always like Korea is the the plastic surgery capital of the world, but like yeah. they're the plastic surgery capital of the world only for, for faces. And honestly, I feel I feel like the reason they are the plastic surgery capital of the world is because their plastic surgery. Um, kind of procedures are relatively safe compared yeah. to others, right? Really like small. Like if for America, the really big ones, I guess, are breasts and and butt, right? Mm. And those are quite invasive, yeah. pretty dangerous. Yeah. But like seriously, in Korea, the like the eye yeah, surgery, yeah, you just, just, you like just you cut go in, you just cut a little slit, and that's that is the most performed surgery, yeah. the double eyelid surgery, yeah. and uh, sometimes the nose and the jaw. Which is pretty invasive, but not as common as the eyes. Like, I, like I get into this like, it's like this like passive racism that like a lot of Asians I know have. Like even my parents, where like I'll go home and 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 I'm they'll be talking about Korean. They're like, well, they're all fake anyways. And I'm like, the celebrities are, but so are the ones in America, right? Yeah. Like, like I, I think in general, the grand scheme of things, like I don't think plastic surgery is that. Common. And when I say plastic surgery, I'm talking about what other people think of, like where their whole face like looks totally different. Like, yeah, yeah that happens, but like, I, I've I've seen more fake breasts in my life than I've than I've seen fake faces. Fake faces, like yeah. like eyes. Okay, a lot of people have eyes. Yeah, uh, that that's a fact. But like, in, yeah. but like, you know, maybe I just can't tell, or maybe I just haven't met that many people. No, but like, I, I'm with I don't you. really think it's as common as people think I, think it is. I'm with you on that, Stephen. When I first came to Korea, um, only the really obvious like plastic surgeries I could tell. But mm. nowadays, I'm just like, man, I can tell that, I can tell that, I can tell that. Mm. Mainly because like walking down the street or something, or just kind of just being in Korea and seeing a lot of different face types. Mm. Or sometimes just my girlfriend like pointing out like, oh, hey, mm. that girl has her chin. I'm like, really? Yeah, yeah. She's like, like, what has she done? She's like, oh yeah, eyes, definitely the nose. Mm. And I was like, holy shit, I didn't really realize that. But but you know what, Anna, I, I, do, do you really think she knows? Uh, I'm, I'm sure she has an inkling. It's not 100% certain. Because you can't really know 100% certain. Yeah. But like, she, she knows what they look like. So like even so notes? even yeah so even though it, even though it might not be plastic surgery she'll say like hey that's what it looks like mm. when it's like really well done yeah trying to think did uh did did my ex girlfriend have a nose job I feel like she did yeah you said yes yeah I feel like she did don't matter anymore though no uh, I think you said nose and eyes right I'm not sure. It's been a long time since I even thought about that, but I feel yeah. like maybe it's been maybe. You know the remember that girl her. that her friend right? What was her yeah. name? Like her friend uh, that we met Mom as like four. Yeah. yeah, we met as four once, like as a weird double date or whatever that was. Yeah, like she got, uh, uh, she got plastic surgery. Like she had her recently? jaw shaved. I mean, recently, like a, I mean, a couple oh, months a year ago, ago, a year ago, a year ago, like a year and a half ago. I mean, mm -hmm. I haven't. We broke up a while ago. But, like, yeah, she showed me a picture of her since she got her jaw shaved. And I was like, holy fuck. Like, she looks fucking different. Um, she didn't I'm even look sure. like the same person. I'm sure. Um, but she did look better. <laughs> she, she did look better. And she was already pretty. She like, was already that. pretty, yeah. Um, but, I mean, I hate to say I, I remember, it, but god damn, she did look I remember better. trying to get involved in that. She was kind of quicker, though, I feel. Yeah. Is it the same one that we're thinking about that one? Yeah, we trying? met that with she tried, four people. She, no, that she, your ex girlfriend tried to hook me up with. Yeah, that girl. Yeah, we went to eat at that buffet. Mm, yeah, yeah that okay. Girl. Yeah, Confirm. she 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 got plastic surgery, and then like I think part of it is like a you know when you like you lose weight, like you feel more confident, right? Uh -huh. Like I think she felt way more confident after she had that surgery, and uh -huh. then I think she, uh, she said she like found a boyfriend like right away, and like uh -huh. 
I was really happy with that person, you know, I don't know what the fuck they're doing now, because, mm. but, like, um... Yeah, maybe plastic surgery is everywhere, and I'm just making shit up. <laughs> I'm making shit up uh, my asshole. I mean, it is it is relatively common, but I, I don't know. Like, I, I like my parents would ask me like, is it like would you be okay with it if your wife had plastic surgery? I'm like, I, I honestly I don't even mind plastic surgery that much. Like, I mean, I definitely mind like fucking that Zaya guy plastic surgery. Like, yeah. like if you get your whole fucking face done, mm -hmm. you look like a totally different person, right? Like, um, I, I totally get that, but like you get like like one or two things done like i don't yeah. really have a problem with it like if see, it makes you look better and it doesn't make you like a creepy ass doll like it, see the, the, the thing for me is just like i just can't i just can't really get with somebody who's just so obsessed with looks but but the thing is i don't i don't feel it's like that because like because that... some because some people a lot of people who get it have like some sort of pressures or they will feel more confident if they get it sure. and like I can understand that but then there are a lot of people who are just really obsessed with like right. looking a but certain way I, I understand that but but I think that's like a, that's like this like American thing because like we didn't grow up with plastic surgery being okay yeah right in yeah. my head I'm like I got tiny ass fucking squinty eyes like you don't right you yeah. got big ass eyes and fuck you right but I got tiny ass squinty eyes like if I grew up in Korea, I probably, I totally would probably be like, yeah. let's do this. Like, it's I, really societal. Like, why not? It's, it, it's society's norms. It, it's the same thing I used to say. Yeah. Like, I used to have this thing of like, like, I think it's bullshit that guys can't wear makeup. Yeah. Like, like, I would never wear makeup though. You know why? Because I'm American. I'm like, eh, that's gay, right? But like, yeah. like, I think it, like it. Like, all actors wear makeup. Like, everyone, yeah. like, people wear makeup. It's a very common thing, right? Even I'm not talking about fucking... K-pop eyeliner, even, right? Even the manliest man action star has yeah. worn a shit ton of makeup, like, yeah. in their It's movie. just a normal thing. Like, yeah. any, you take a, you know, if you're a model, you fucking wear makeup. Like, yeah. like, there's no reason why, like, if I have a pimple, like, why can't I like, wear makeup, right? Whatever. But the only reason we don't do it is because culturally, like, that's, that's fucking weird, right? Yeah. Like, who would do that? And I think that's the same thing with the eye thing or, yeah. or small plastic surgery. It's like... Like I don't think someone in Korea who gets their eyes done is them them thinking uh, uh, only about themselves. Yeah. Like they, they, like like I think someone like the Zaya guy where he gets his whole face yeah. fucking done and like that is like obsessed with what yeah. you look like. But like I think you know just getting yeah. your eyes done when it's a normal thing in Korea like that's yeah. that's like nothing. And, and honestly, it really stems from like American culture really idolizing individuality and like mm. originality like which is strange because we're totally not yeah have you seen those reddit pictures like of it, like 17 girls wearing the same yeah, top bottom it, ug combo yeah like it, it really goes into just like we at we as american consumers appreciate people who write their own songs right people who do their own thing people who embrace their own kind of flaws, right? Like, it just, it just really, we just really have this culture of like, you're perfect the way you are, you are special, and like, you're one of a kind. But it's such a and bullshit farce that. though, because yeah, like, right? who's the most popular <laughs> artist? People that don't write their own fucking songs. Who, yeah. What's the most popular movies? The most boring well, generic movies you can yeah. possibly think of. Like, yeah. what's the most popular show? The fucking Big Bang Theory, CSI, uh, NCIS, like the yeah. most boring television yeah. shows in the world. Like, America loves to be like, we're individuals, but they're, they're not. Yeah, <laughs> like, now, now not. that I've, like, I've experienced like living in like a lot of different cultures like i come from a multicultural background regardless mm -hmm. like obviously like maybe three or four different cultures but living in a different culture has made me understand that there's there's not one right cultural like way way right sure. or cultural like ideal mm -hmm. so when people like really put down people who are do get plastic surgery then like like i had one friend who use double eye eyelid tape right mm -hmm. because she said like oh it just it just makes putting eyeliner on easy it makes my eyes look yeah. like more outlined really sharp and she just got double eyelid surgery so she wouldn't have to put the tape do and the tape on do it every day yeah and it made me think like that's essentially the same as like people who get like tattooed yeah, like their eyebrows makeup tattoos. on yeah like 
is they're just saving saving the time. makeup time, right? Yeah. And it just makes me think like, yeah, one, as people we are like visually like stimulated. Mm. So there's always gonna be like the what is attractive, what's not attractive. Yeah, but, I know there's I think there's a limit to what I'm about to say, but like yeah. Like, it's like, you know, if you curl your hair every day, and yeah. sometimes you're just like, fuck it, I'm just going to get a perm. Chem- yeah, right, I'm going to get a chemical. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. get, you know, it doesn't last as long yeah. as, say, plastic surgery, but like it, or, you know, like, yeah, they, they do their eyebrows, so they just shave off their eyebrows and get a tattoo, right? Like, yeah. like for me, like, in Korea, eyelid surgery is is that small. It's like, it's just whatever. You do it, it yeah. takes a day. Um, you wear an eye patch for a while and like you're, you're you know, it's yeah. whatever. Like essentially the, after I've come to Korea and lived here for a while, I s- pretty much think of plastic surgery as like getting a tattoo. Hmm. It's a, it's a way to like express yourself. It's a way to boost your confidence sometimes and it's permanent. Right. Hmm. So like thinking of, of it that way, it's, I guess not more accepted but it's easier to understand for me Mm. because at first like i was like i can't in america i was like i can't understand people who would get plastic surgery like i understand wanting to look attractive but like why would you be so obsessed to like pay so much money and to did it did it and did it did it but tattoos aren't expensive like but then again like see them like you are also though like a better looking guy than i think the average person so like like, I, thank you, Steven. I mean, but, but it's like that also influences your, your worldview, right? It's like, no, why yeah. would anyone, per, you know, plus surgery? No, I but said, like, I mean, at that time, like well, now I have right. a different. But even then, like, yeah. it's like, I mean, I can totally understand why people want plastic surgery. Like yeah. some people are, you know, Resilient. just yeah. not really. I'm not going to be like, there's an ugly ass motherfucker. But some people don't have, have the confidence. same confidence as yeah. you, you may have. And, and that's one that's maybe not be the best way to go about it. Mm-hmm. But but that is one a relatively easy way yeah. to uh, to uh, to do it. But um, yeah, yeah, we, we were going to talk about food and <laughs> yeah, we'll say that for a different time. Kinda, but yeah, that's what happens in after show. We kind of just start talking and shit comes out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, I guess we didn't really. Well, there's no other songs in this, in this lightning nah. round, but um, it's crazy what about to me. Snacky Chan. Dummy I still like that daughter. song though. Dummy for Dummy my, for my daughter. daughter. Um, yeah, no, not a great song. I mean, not, not sorry, not a bad song, but not a song that. Uh, I mean, the Hyunsung song was pretty good. My first. Don't remember. It's he, he's from. Um, I mean, I know who he yeah. is, but from Beast, but I don't remember the song. I remember decently liking that song, and I heard it a few more times than I like it, but I haven't heard it recently. Nope, I haven't listened to any of these songs. I remember the Jesse. I, I remember the dancing. Nope. He was just like, <laughs> G-Min and J-Dong. No, nope. is that this one? Was yeah. that this one? This is the one where he goes fucking. I like, thought that was a different out. one. No, it was this one, right? Oh, I don't know, man. I don't fucking remember. This, this is the one where he goes like fucking. Oh, it is all this out. one. Yeah. Like dancing he's up like a storm. Dancing up a fucking and he's like so storm. skinny. And we're just like, he we're must like, have danced all that weight off. Like, man. fucking stop taking heroin, bro. Like. I know it's the makeup they put on his eyes to make him have, like, the dark, like, sunken eyes, but, like... Oh, the kind of eyes that I have? A little bit. What? Way worse. Way darker and more yeah. sunken. Plus, you you need to probably, like, lose 70 pounds to get to, like, where that heroin addict's like, you know? Like, he, he probably weighs, like, maybe 100 and a buck 20. 20. Yeah. yeah. Like, one of my legs is, like, his entire body weight. <laughs> that fucker. No, I'm just kidding. You mean my third leg? Oh, oh my! If your dick weighed 120, elephantitis is no joke. You would, you would be <laughs> fucked. Actually, I, uh, I think it was on uh, JK News where like some dude had the biggest dick in the world, but like, it was like 14 inches big. But like, Sweet but like, thing. it's a disability because like he literally like he can't do things. Like he yeah. can't have a normal job. He can't like have a normal thing because like it just interferes with his entire life. And I'm like. That yeah, sucks. That sucks. Yeah. That sucks. Um, I think he wanted to get surgery to like reduce Just it in yeah. size, and I'm like, careful what you wish for, guys. Yeah. But uh, you know, sadly, there's no easy plastic surgery like Just breast implants to like make. No, like there's no 
penis enlargement, like super easy penis enlargement surgery, like like breast implants. You know, I I wouldn't. I mean, we'll have this discussion for another time. But I wouldn't want to make my penis bigger. Is that crazy? I mean, I'm I don't want to talk about you know my own size, of my penis. But like, <laughs> I, I I don't know why. I, it depends. It's like, like I can totally understand why girls would want bre- you know breast implant surgery. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, up to a certain point. Like, if you're at you're a fucking E and you want to go up to triple F, like I don't know what the sense, fuck you're yeah. talking about. But like, I can totally Ask understand why girls with like you know really small breasts want bigger breasts because yeah. that's it's very shallow. But yeah. it's it's like a confidence thing, right? It's like that's yeah. what's important in American society. And, and so, also, you can fit into some clothes better. That's what that's what one of my friends yeah, who maybe, got yeah. uh, breast implants. And it's a easy solution to get people to notice you, right? Mm-hmm. Like. But, so I, I can't say, like, if there was an easy equivalent to, like, you know, your, your penis, penis to get two inches bigger or, mm. like, girthier, I don't know what the right word is, but, mm. like, you know, I, maybe. I mean, I probably wouldn't just because I got no money and, like, I'm scared. <laughs> that pose like, like, I'm tattoo. scared. Like, I don't even want to, like, I don't want to get a tattoo because that's fucking scary shit. Like, I don't want some mm-hmm. knife in my dick, like, like opening it like a fucking hot dog and, like, stuffing, like, little things in it. Like, I don't want that shit, you know? Like, but I guess I, I bet a lot of people would, though. I bet if yeah. they made, like, a equivalent surgery, like, a lot of people would do it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, oh, I, I just can't even, like. Oh. But the problem with that is, like, I mean, obviously, there's many reasons why that would never happen, but like, yeah. you know, like anatomically, like you're using that, right? You're yeah. using that, and there's a lot of impact force on that. Yeah. Like, you, you, it's not like it's not like breasts where like, I mean, there have been cases of just like people just going ham. Yeah, but but breasts. but press pop, like those yeah. bags pop, and yeah. it, and it, it's kind of bad when problems. they pop. Hey guys, sorry to just jump in like this, but somehow I lost the last five minutes of that podcast. Um, all you really missed was about five minutes of us just talking more about how implants in your dick just don't make no sense because uh, you're kind of pounding and using it a lot. Um, so you didn't miss much. Um, so thanks for watching everybody uh, or listening if you're an audio listener. And uh, we'll be back of course next week with the big old episode 80. Um, there's absolutely nothing special about it, but uh, yeah, it's a big number. It's a big number. But uh, thanks again. If you like this video, of course, uh, Hopefully you're subscribed to either YouTube or some kind of podcasting uh, application. And uh, yeah, I don't really know what to say. It's weird being by myself talking to the camera. So uh, see you guys next time. Peace.